Hi guys, this is Tia, also known as Tots5678. I wanted to come and show you how I make my avocado deep conditioning treatment. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me show you the things that you'll need. Um, first, you'll need um, just a bowl or a, an empty container. I just use this small Tupperware container. Of course, a nice ripe avocado. Um, the things that I mix into it are coconut oil. Uh, this is my extra virgin organic coconut oil. This one and only um, argan oil. And um, I use this cheap conditioner that I get for like 75 cents from the grocery store. This is a VO5 tea therapy. I have co-washed with this one a few times and I really like it. Um, it has great slip and um, is good. I used it last time in my um, avocado deep conditioning treatment. And it was really good at thickening up the conditioning conditioner uh, treatment, the my mixture, and then um, helping to get some of the clumps out. So it's really good. Um, of course, I use olive oil. Now, this is not the Proclaim um, oil, but I do recycle this bottle and use it. Um, I just buy um, olive oil from the grocery store, and then I just refill this bottle and use it because I use it on my skin and my hair. Um, of course, honey. Where would I be without honey? Um, this, uh, of course, you can see my bottle is getting empty, so I need to go and re-up. Um, the next thing that you'll need are, I use actually a steak knife, a fork, and spoon. The fork is to help uh, mash up the clumps in the, uh, the avocado um, and to whip my mixture. Of course, this is to help spoon and get the avocado, all of the avocado out of the skin and to mix everything up. And then, of course, a knife to cut my avocado. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, get it into my bowl and start mashing. And then I'll come back and show you how I mix everything up. See you in a bit. Hi guys, I'm back and as you can see, I have been mashing up my avocado um, and it'll look really ripe and green like this. Um, I do recommend wearing an old t-shirt while you're doing this, um, especially when you get ready to apply it to your hair because um, it can be kind of gross, um, of course, with the avocado and everything. Okay, so I am mashing. One thing that you can do if your avocado is not terribly... Um, ripe, then you can put it in the blender to help smooth out the texture or a food processor um, to smooth out the texture. My goal is to get as many of the clumps out of it, so I'm just kind of keep mashing here. I don't know if you can see that, but let me bring that and turn it. There we go. Um, and keep trying to mash it around to, and like keep whipping it around. So now what I'm going to do is, of course, add my um, coconut oil. I'm going to do, uh, this is a tablespoon size spoon. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of coconut oil. Here, I'll bring that down so you can see more of what I'm doing. All right, so that was my first tablespoon of coconut oil. Now I'm going to do my second tablespoon. And each time I put some coconut or uh, something in, I'm going to kind of mix it into the mixture first before I start adding something else. This will help my um, my avocado to smooth out some and then to help to get rid of some of the lumps. And then plus I want it to absorb the oil each time. And then as you can see, it gets creamier and creamier um, each time I add something. Okay, so now I've done that. Now I have my argan one and only, uh, one and only argan oil. Um, I just add about uh, four drops of that. So if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm actually recording on my computer. It's two, three, four. Five. Now, if you've ever used this um, oil before, you know it's pretty, um, a very little bit goes a long way. This bottle has lasted me, I can't even tell you how long it's been, months and months. It's been, I've had this bottle at least six months, if not more. Um, so I'm going to mix that in. Now, again, my goal is to get as much of a smooth consistency as possible. Um, I don't mind 
you know, the little tiny chunks, but I do want it smooth. All right, so now I'm gonna add uh, just one tablespoon of the olive oil. that in. Get any little bit. All right. Just so you can see. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then um, you can see um, it's starting to smooth out a bit of deal. And then now I'm going to do um, one tablespoon of honey. Um, now, when I first made this mixture, I really didn't do any true measurements. I just kind of mixed as I felt um, just till it got to the consistency that I wanted when I first tried it. The first time I did not add honey because I was out of honey, um, but this time I'm looking forward to having the honey in there. Um, when I first did this, my hair was so shiny for the full week and it was so super soft. Um, so, and I really, really, really loved what it did for my hair. My hair felt stronger, it was very soft, and um, the strands felt, I guess, kind of helped to, I don't know, I guess they felt more filled in or not as brittle or, I don't want to say brittle, but smoother strands, I guess, probably is the better word to use. All right, so you can see I'm like really cooking here. Um, now with the conditioner, I'm not really worried about measuring because the conditioner is more so to help um, to, one, to smooth out the uh, mixture um, and then also to help to stretch the the mixture so that I have enough to fit on all of my hair. Um, I'll bring this down a little bit so you can see I've just kind of just poured it in there and now I'm going to keep whipping. Um, now again this is just to smooth out um, the condition the mixture and then also to help thicken it and then stretch it so that um, I'll have enough to be able to be generous all over my hair with it. And then what I'm going to do is apply this um, to my hair in sections like I normally do. Um, then I'll get in the shower, or not in the shower, I'll tie my hair up and I'll walk around with this mixture in my hair probably for as long as I can. At least six hours is what my goal is. And then um, tonight I'll co-wash the, because normally I do it overnight, um, but since I didn't get to do it overnight, I'm just going to at least do wear it for six hours just around the house. And then I'll, tonight I'll get in the uh, shower um, and co-wash it out with my Suave Naturals. And then go ahead and do style my hair as normal, whether I'm going to do a wash and go or a twist out. But I think I'm going to try a twist out um, on my hair this time. So, um, so as you can see, it's gotten very soupy and my, my container is, you know, starting to fill up. I am going to add a little bit more because again, I want to just stretch it out and smooth it out, um, as much as possible. But you can see before it was like really thick and not moving and now, now we're baking. So, all right, so I'm going to squeeze a good amount in there again. All right, and then I'm going to keep mixing, and then I will come back and show you um, how I apply it to my hair uh, before I get ready to tie it up. So see you in a bit. Hi guys, I'm getting ready to apply my avocado deep conditioning treatment. I just took my scarf off. My hair right now is sectioned into two sections, uh, these two Princess Leia buns. Um, my hair, of course, is really dry and dirty, so I'm looking forward to this treatment um, and I'm going to take one each section down and put it each uh, into three different sections on each side so I'll come back and show you once I've um, applied it all over my hair and then get ready to do the last section and show you what it looks like see you soon hi guys so I'm back and I'm actually working on the last section of my hair as you can see I have this green gunk all over my head um, and I don't worry about detangling. I do make sure that I get it in the driest sections of my hair, which is for me the back of my hair and the crown of my hair. 
Um, so I'm just kind of pasting it on. I had actually already stroked it down um, a little bit um, through my hair. I do not worry about detangling um, because as the this treatment sits in your hair, it just automatically just kind of starts to loosen up. Um, and then I detangle in the shower with my um, co-wash conditioner, which for me, again, is the Suave Naturals. So as you can see, um, I have pretty much gotten this all over my hair. And then I'm just twisting it up. I have three sections on each side. And you can see by looking at my shirt um, over here, it um, is pretty gross. <laughs> so this is why I recommend wearing an old t-shirt um, that you don't use or don't care about messing up. So I've pretty much gone through this. So I'm going to take, just scrape it and then run it all over my hair. Um, especially concentrating on the crown of my hair because, of course, again, that is the driest section of my hair. Um, so anyway, I'm going to tie my hair up, as you know, um, in a an old Walmart bag or Target bag, um, and then just let this sit in my hair probably for six hours, um, and then I'll call again. I'll co wash it out, and um, I'll come back and do another video um, to show you how my twist out turns out. Now that one will be um, a little further because of course I'm gonna let my hair air dry, and when I let my hair air dry in twist outs, it takes about two days. I know, sad, huh? So anyway, um, that is my avocado deep treatment, and I'll come back again and show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you'll try it and that you will like it, and tell, let me know how you feel about your results. If you have any um, video requests, please leave them in the comment section below, and I look forward to showing you my results and seeing how you guys like this um, deep treatment. I'm actually getting ready to do one for my daughter's hair, so... Um, we will have a fun-filled day. Um, anywho, I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to visit my blog, me, my girls, and our natural curls.com. Also, follow me on Instagram at tots underscore 5678. That's T O T S underscore 5678. And a of course, you can follow me on um, Pinterest and uh, Twitter and uh, as Tots5678 and also on my Facebook page, which is Tia, T-I-A hyphen Tots5678. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Talk to you soon.